Welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna and today we're going to be talking about my October TV yard. Let's get going. So I feel like I had a pretty good reading month for October. I almost liked all of them. Almost them are few that were like kind of okay but otherwise I still felt like I had a pretty good month. So yeah, let's see what we have. So my first one was Ecstasia by Claire Legrand. Uh, I actually really like this. Uh, so we're following a girl named Amity and she had wanted to be a saint for so long. So now when she finally becomes a saint, bad things are starting to happen such as bodies that are kept piling more and more. But people don't know why they keep seeing dead bodies. So, Amity wants to find out who keeps killing the bodies, especially since they're, they're all men. So now, with her newfound power that she can summon through Ecstasia, she's either gonna save Helen or burn it to the ground. So, I, yeah, I thought I kind of like this book. Uh, it didn't give me Handmaid's Tale, even though I never watched Handmaid. But it still had that same vibe. Um, it was also really religious too. So there's that, and then the, and I really like the relationship between Blessing and Amity's, their sisters. So I thought that was really well done, and I also like the Amity story throughout the book. I thought that was really well done, and I kind of like to see how it all wrapped up for her story. Um, and the ending was like bittersweet because she's knowing when she goes back there people won't see her the same and she's like is this really my home now because she has a different point of view so it was bittersweet but um but the plot twist I don't know how to feel about the plot twist they were all ready to search for the devil and then there was a strange plot twist which I'm not going to tell what it is but I don't know how to feel about it. I thought it was kind of out of place almost. It was just like, bam, like right in your face. So I don't know how to feel about it. But um, overall, it was still pretty good. I really liked it. So, yeah. Next book is Mary Will I Die from Sean Sauls. Following four people, Elena, Stealth, Calvin, and Grace. And great. Um, and they decided to play a bloody Mary because you know why not? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so what, when you play a bloody Mary, you either see your true love, or you'll see how you die. Now, five years later, all of them are facing the consequences of playing bloody Mary until one day a girl named Mary comes to school. So I feel the. Like the horror aspect felt pretty flat and didn't really help that much horror, which I was kind of expecting to. Um, so that was alright. I didn't really like the characters as well, maybe ex except for Stephanie. I felt I kind of like Stephanie. So she seemed okay, but the rest I couldn't really connect. And the books are like, and the ending felt kind of rushed. I feel like the curse from Elena's family didn't really got explained that well. So I was still confused about the curse that happened and and like the book of grimoires that was also mentioned in the end of the book was also kind of added randomly. I wish it was something that had been played throughout the book, especially since, you know, they're practically dealing with the demon and all that stuff, so yeah, I wish that was that was a little bit touched on more, but yeah, I didn't really enjoy this book. Like I think I gave it like a three stars or something like that, so I don't know, I just wish there was like more homework to it. So yeah. The next book is Blood Like Fate by Alice Lamb Sambury. So this is the fight finale of the duology from Blood Like Magic, which I loved the first one. 
So we're following Voya who is continuing to save her community from something bad. But um, yeah, so again, I didn't really like this book. Um, it felt too much repetitive, like she would call the council meeting and then she would update them and then basically repeat, which is fine, okay, but don't let that be the main point of the whole thing. Because that's what kind of happened. Um, well, yeah, she felt a lot more negative in this book. She's like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. And I know, I just don't like when characters get negative that much, so. It just ruins the book, in all honesty. And the plot twist towards the end, I, it always doesn't really make sense. So I'm gonna put spoilers. So Luke programmed Eli, even though the real Eli was actually dead, killed by Justin. So it kind of felt random that Luke was just programming Eli, even though it was him all the time. But. And I wish there was like some kind of mentioning in the, in the, like in the book, so just to see like, oh, this is what's gonna happen, but like, it, so that it wouldn't like actually directly tell us that Eli is not actually there, but like giving us some hints in a way. So, and I thought that was kind of off, and I can't believe what they did to Jonah. They just they stripped away his magic and that's it. Like that he's not gonna face any consequences for what he did. So he really just walks away. I'm like, no, that's not right. That's not right at all. So yeah. Again, so yeah, the book just felt flat. That I didn't really enjoy it as much. So now we have Cats in Jail by Francesa Zapia. So. This is one of the most strangest books I ever read. So we're basically following two timelines, one past, one present. In the past, we're kind of figuring out how Cat, you know, Cat, Cat was being trapped in school while in the present she is trapped in school, but she doesn't remember why or how she got trapped in the school. So, yeah, I mean, it was just so weird. I don't know how to feel about it. I was kind of having a hard time rating it because it was so weird. I really like the illustrations, as you can see. So, I really like that. They were cool to see. And this book was just so gory. And it's just so violent. So, um... And the ending honestly made me feel more depressed than it should. Like, I understand what the author was trying to do, but it just made me feel more depressed. Like, I don't know, like, I just didn't really like the ending. And it, and I thought the ending was also a bit rushed. So, um, yeah. I, I don't know how to feel about it. Like, it like, it's, like, so disgusting, but you cannot look away. <laughs> so, um... I just, I still don't know how to feel about this book. <laughs> Lastly, the gem of the month, that is Babel by R.F. Kuang. So I annotated a lot. I even highlighted certain things, which is somewhere in the book. But I love this book. I was actually afraid that I might not understand what this book will be about, just because it was and kind of like and an academic read, so, you know, the language might get too fancy and things like that, but it wasn't, so I was able to know what was happening, yay! So I love this book a lot. So we're following Mormon Swift, whose mother died of Corella, so now we're having a professor from Oxford who wants, who is taking Robin, Robin away so that he can study. So that one day he might join the Royal Institute on Translation, which is known as Babel. My phone just died there. I am so sorry. I'm actually kind of feeling a little bit sick, so my phone is like so dry. And yeah. But anyways. So, yeah, I really loved it, but I have a lot to talk about. I even like wrote it down because I have a lot to talk about, so yeah, and that's a lot. I like to invent out my feelings. So, 
I kind of want to touch on the relationship between Robin and Lovewell. Uh, I feel like we never got a proper disclosure in all honesty. I feel like we didn't. I, mean, I wish we had because now we're just there's this weird gap between the two of them, even though Robin did something to love well. But, um, I don't know, I just never felt any closure between them, which sucks. But, but at the same time, I didn't really like love well. Because he's not you know, I just don't like love well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but for like Griffin, I actually automatically guessed as to who Griffin is. He is the spoiler. He is the brother. Well, he is the half brother, if you will. So I kind of half guessed. Okay, I'm sorry. But yes, so he is the half brother of Griff to Robin, and when Griffin Robin is introduced to Hermes society, and you know Griffin is like Griffin is giving him a job and things like that. So I. I wish we had more touched on the Harmony Society rather than have Griffin telling Robin what to do and then disappearing for a month or so. So I wish we had more touch on that. But um, it was so interesting to see the relationship between the two of them. <laughs> and But as for his friends, <laughs> I did not like Letty at all whatsoever. I hate on her guts. I did not like her. Like, and not, and I still feel sad though because they got betrayed by a friend who thought she was going to be her friend. But like if you think about it, she is the animal daughter. So uh, would you really expect to for her to do something what Robin and the others were doing? No, they wouldn't. So it kind of felt sad when she backstabbed them. So I honestly thought like when she was going into the tower that she was all gonna get killed, but she wasn't, so that was kind of unfortunate. I'm sorry. But I just did not like Lenny at all. And for a moment, um, I thought he was a really pretty good character. I really enjoyed how his story ended, even though I didn't feel like it was normal for the way how he died. And, um, like, Victory might find it normal, but I didn't. Like, it's just so pretty interesting to see how his arc ended, and, you know, uh, like, I understand what the author was trying to, yeah, so, like, Robin would die than to live long enough to see his mistake. So, yeah, so those were my thoughts, um, but I did appreciate the teams like colonialism, well not appreciate, but you know what I mean. Like there were colonialism, imperialism, ideology, etymology. I thought it was really cool to see all those themes being played in the book. And I really liked the magic system as well, I thought that was pretty cool, so. Yeah, so those are my thoughts on Babel. Oh, and also it's really interesting to see how Robin became the one thing that he didn't want to become, and that was to be a villain. He became a villain in the end. So, yeah, so. So now those are my thoughts of Babel and my overall thoughts of my book itself. So let me know what you guys have read in October, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the no notification bell so that you won't miss every time I post. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!